There's 40 grand on the table there. I'm fine. It's not even just the money. This is Mumbai. This could change everything for us. Yeah, it's not right. Please, let me take the meeting. Ravi, I've got this. Actually, can I be frank with you, Kyra? I've had a bit of a morning, and um, I bumped into an ex. Well, she's not. She's married. Ah, uh, one of those. Mm -hmm. mm. Let me guess, repressed and weird. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Yeah? That's uncanny. <laughs> Yeah, I guess, well, what I'm saying is, if you were looking for anything serious, I think maybe today might be bad timing. Who said I wanted anything serious? Be your profile. <laughs> it's a date in bio. You need to cover all bases. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, right. should we just get drunk and see what happens? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that mm -hmm. sounds like a plan. You work with Ramvi Galati. Ravi's dad? Yes, I have done. And how did that go? Yeah, fine, good. Profitable? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yes, you are. Any woman that spend longer than five minutes with him is. I've worked with him, and as a woman, I know there's two ways to deal with Mr. Galati. Either you pay vastly over the odds financially, or, well, you pay over the odds in other ways. I ended up in debt for years after my deal. But I heard your terms were much more favourable. Maybe I'm a better negotiator. Or maybe... How long's your husband been away for? Must get very lonely after all that time. Suki. I can't help you if I don't know what's happened. Stop the minute. Asking questions, making innuendo. She's got no point. What questions? Renvid, our relationship, his reputation. She's insinuating that... Hey, it's okay. Look, I know what he put you through. No, no you don't. Her in there prodding like it's idle gossip. I said I felt so stupid. You have absolutely no reason to feel stupid. What Ranveer did to you... It's his fault. And who is she anyway to be questioning you, huh? You're Suki Panazar. You are the most belligerent, hard-headed, antagonistic person I have ever met. And you're the strongest. The strongest person I know. Your advice, it paid off. I got the deal. <laughs> wow, that is, that's great. Because of you, Eve. No, Suki. Yeah. Because no, you honestly. make me feel still. I just need a bit of time. If you could agree to that. Tomorrow, Sonia. Yeah. Tomorrow. Hey, oh, no, no, we can't talk to you. People do know we're friends. <laughs> I'm still suspicious. Um, right now, you're about the only person around here that gives me any time of day. Oh, well, don't worry, because I slag you off behind your back all the time, you know, just to throw people off the sun. You. <laughs> Apart from you, no one. No one else gives a damn about this huge opportunity I've got in Mumbai. You know, you don't have to do the whole I forgive you speech. Just let her know you're proud of her and you hope she doesn't die on the plane. It's not that simple. It is. You've got the plug open, so just stick the new fuse in. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, just take it from someone who learned the hard way. If you let these family feuds go on too long, suddenly there's no way back. Isn't this a bit public? I mean, wouldn't you rather we spent our last few hours in private? I'm not going to say no to that. Mum, 
Stacey said you guys were in it. We wanted to wish you luck before you go to Mumbai. Oh, right. Um, did you want... No, I just, just gave him a nudge to give you a call. Do you look at this? We'll get together in the family restaurant. Well, this restaurant has nothing to do with me, mate. Oh, funny, because I'm hosting your girlfriend's daughter's birthday party in a bit. I'll tell you what, I've never seen a woman look so grateful. Who does he think he is? Learn the get it. Excuse me? I said, leave it. You know what? I tried, but I can't do this. Look, don't create a scene, all right? And what? Ruin a perfect family moment. In case you haven't noticed, Mum, we're not a family anymore. I mean, you can find yourselves any number of replacement sons, but there'll always be an MTC at this table, and it will always remind me that you're the woman who killed my brother. How does this even stay a secret if you're in my life doing things like this? Look, if you're, if you're gonna kick off about it, I won't bother next time. No. No. I want you to. Because you're right. Get it, came. It's one small step forward, a few paces back, and a whole load of pain. But if he can do that now, one day I might have my family back. Yeah, you will. And where do you fit? I can be very patient when it comes to that. But not when it comes to you. Please don't make this hard for me. He caught us in bed together. That's not why I'm pretending this is anything other than what it is. I've asked you to leave. If you shot me out, when we have come this far, what am I supposed to think? She's in love with you. Well, lots of people fall in love with me, become obsessed. It doesn't mean I feel the same. You turned your back on Ash. The thought of having a bisexual daughter disgusted you so much that you didn't speak to her for years. You're a hypocrite. I wasn't the only one struggling with that. Yeah, I wrestled with it and I've grown from it, but that's not the same though, is it? Because when you were shunning your own daughter, you must have known that on some level you were just the same as her. No, I'm not. I am not. And you still made her life a misery. Why? Why? Was it the fact that the shame you felt towards her was the same shame you felt about yourself? Was that it? I was ashamed because she made everything so public. Mum, she was brave enough to be true to who she really is. I was just trying to protect her from embarrassing herself in front of the whole community, waving it in people's faces. What did she think was going to happen? Tainting our reputation. That is what I had a problem with, Girit. That in there was a private moment and no one needs to know about it. How does Dad fit into this? 
Did you love him? I loved him. In the way a wife loves her husband. But you cut him off and left him in prison to rot. He got sent to prison for defending his family and protecting the community. That man is a hero. Your father is not the man you think he is. That man did nothing wrong. Paranoia got the better of your father and he lost his temper. And killed him in a jealous rage. Your cab is on its way. I don't think this is a good idea, Gidda. So what are you going to do here? Just keep hounding me to forgive you? Eve, that's one thing. I won't say anything. But Dad, no. I need time away from you, time to think. So go. What I said about your father? Bus. To see Joe. I said go, Mom. Something's not making sense to me. What Dad did, he did in a jealous rage, right? He killed a man he thought you were friends with. So what I want to know is, were you having an affair with this man? He lived across the road. The man your father murdered. He was married, but hardly ever spoke to him. It was his wife. But nothing ever happened. It was just this intense connection. Neither of us really understood the friendship. We were young, trying to be good wives. You, you should be easier to get over. But that's my problem, not yours. Um, like you say, your life's about to get a whole load of complicated, so... And that's why I need you. I mean, how else am I going to get through it? <laughs> What's happened between us? It's changed me. Do you think you have some sort of claim over all this? So sort of in there. Of course I do. Illegally, morally, spiritually. What? Your faith is important to you, isn't it? So in the eyes of God, you are my wife. And all the friends and family in the community that you value so highly, they'll see it the same. No, they won't. You murdered someone. Because I loved you. You know, I regret the years that I lost, but I do not regret what I did. And if someone else was ever to come between us again, I would do exactly the same. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. What do you mean? I wasn't sure, what did he say? He's my husband, and I have an obligation to him. This, us. It's not who I am, it's not what I want. Seriously, Suki, tell me right now this is a joke. I need to speak to this guy. God, no, he's not safe. He needs sorting out. Stop it. You love me, I know you do. I'm married. It, it doesn't mean anything. It's just a piece of paper. You, you're practically strangers. My husband has served his time, and now he deserves a second chance with his family. You can't do this. This can't be happening. Like, just... Just... Leave him. 
I don't really like you, and that's the truth. I used you to explore something, and it left me cold. And now my husband's back. <laughs> now I remember who sort of man he is. My future can only be with him. I told you to leave it with Phil. Who knows what he's going to do now? Oh, come on, you saw him, he's pathetic. He's got nothing but his name. Do you know he won't let it go? I spent so long building things up. Always by the book, was it? Don't pretend you wouldn't have done the same. Right, who else have you dragged into this, eh? Are you involved? No. Are you? No. You would better not be. Change insurance providers. It's all sorted. You know what they say, don't cry over spilt milk or beans or <laughs> bread. You lied to me. Eve, the files you need are next door. Both of you, to my face. No, I... You I used our son, our innocent son, in your stupid vendetta against Phil. He didn't use me. I wanted to do it. I forbid you to get involved. I am not a kid anymore. You are still my little boy, Vinny. And whilst you're living under my Stop. roof... Stop! Patronising me. I am finally stepping up, playing my part for the family. You should be pleased. Well, after what happened to your brother? Are you willing to let another son go to prison? Well, you were happy enough to send Jags to prison, weren't you? So you are the reason that two of our kids aren't here with us now. And if you carry on like this, you're going to push Vinny and Asher away too. I'm just trying to protect them. From what? We don't need protecting. My kids, they respect me. You said the same about you? We're closed. Suki. I am. Um, I just wanted to check you're all right. Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Well, I heard the way Nish spoke to you earlier. If that had been anyone else, you'd have told them where to get off. It's not just anyone knows it. It's my husband. Yeah, in name only. Look, we're a partnership in every way. Why are you letting him do this? It's like he's sucked the fire out of you. You know everything you've achieved over the last two decades you did alone. You did that. You don't need him. I wouldn't understand. So make me. Make me understand. Because a Suki I know won't put up with this. Yeah, well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. We both know that's not true. Just stop trying to make out what happened was a fairy tale. I made a mistake. Once. That's it. Once. OK. Well, so every kiss, every touch, every moment that we shared, there were all mistakes, were they? You mean nothing to me. Message received. Loud and clear. Mum, look at you. <laughs> It was the back of the drawer. I thought we'd get it out so you can put the new one next to it tomorrow. Matching pair. <laughs> Maybe your mother doesn't want it on display. Of course I do. I just put it away when you went to prison because it made me sad. Now, there's a lot to do today. Can you call the caterers again and make sure they know the date's changed? All right, I'm on it. Mm. 
I'll go get it. I'll see you both later on. Yeah, OK. That'll be Eve for me. Pass me an invite, will you? You are going to invite her? Of course. Actually, give me two. You should invite the Slaters as well. Hi. Eve. I was just telling Suki what a great asset you are to us. Like part of the family. I'm sorry I couldn't invite you yesterday, but we'd love you to come and join us tomorrow. And Stacey and the family too. Yeah, of course, but um, it's probably too late notice for you. I'm sure you can get a couple of hours off. The blessing is here at the house, so you don't exactly have far to come. <laughs> Thanks. It's really kind. Um, I'll let you know later if that's okay. Great. Yeah, I'll just... <laughs> We're not romantic, but we want as many people to come and celebrate our love as possible. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. You are seeing things that are not their niche. And the last time you did that, it landed you 20 years when ago. When I see men around you like that, trying to get close to it. I couldn't stand it now. I can't stand it now. I killed that man. I love for you, Suki. Don't you understand? Pure love. And I... I can't guarantee I won't do it again. I told myself that if I came, I might actually find a way of accepting it. That I could convince myself that you're happy in your choice, but... I know you don't love him, so why are you doing this? <laughs> You talk about love as though it's the answer to everything. Well, so, um, is it about your community? Because I get it, or I would, if we were talking about when you first got married with all that pressure and pleasing your parents and stuff. Are you seriously trying to explain my culture to me? No one forced me to marry Nish. I know. You gave it a good go. You know, you've raised the kids, you've built the businesses, you've worked hard for years, so... Isn't it time now that you had the life that you actually want? You don't know what I want. Don't I? No. 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 Just tell me you love him and I'll leave. Just go, please. You're going to stand? Smiling in front of a load of people tomorrow while you feel sick to your stomach. Because you're lying to yourself that that's what you want. You can't. You can't pretend that you and me never happened. Why do you have to be like this? Please, just don't make this any harder than it already is. No one's forcing you to do it. You're just trying to convince yourself that you can make it work. He is my husband, and I am not going to cheat on him. You already did. It's like our wedding day. But even more beautiful. <sighs> Hello. Hi. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you very much for inviting us. As you can see, Janet's brought her own scarf to mark the occasion. You look like a princess. Oh, thank you. By its time, unless any more are joining us. No, Eve. <coughs> you really didn't have to come. I did. It's, um, it's a big day for you, and um, we need the support. 
ਬੀਬੀ ਸੁਖਵਿੰਦਰ ਕੌਰ ਜੀ ਪਨੇਸਰ ਅਤੇ ਸਰਦਾਰ ਨਿਸ਼ਾਨ ਜੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਪਨੇਸਰ ਰਾਮ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਚਰਨਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈ ਮੇਰੇ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ 71 ਹੋ ਕੇ ਫੋਰ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗਸ ਫੋਰ ਯੂਰ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗਸ ਮਾਈ ਗੋਡ ਉਹ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਚਰਨਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ 71 ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਹੇ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਬਲੈਸ ਥੈਮ ਵਿਦ ਅ ਹੈਪੀ ਮੈਰਿਡ ਲਾਈਫ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਬਲੈਸ ਥੈਮ ਵਿਦ ਅ ਲਵ ਐਂਡ ਫੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਬਲੈਸ ਥੈਮ ਵਿਦ ਅ ਬਿਗ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ You okay? Well, thanks again for coming, honey. Oh, pleasure. Oh, it's very magical <laughs> to see a couple who's so in love and devoted surrounded by friends joining the celebration. She didn't fancy this bit then. said back there with your husband yeah, and I was wrong too. What? I know now. I was wrong to <sighs> deny how I feel. <sighs> It's you, Eve. <sighs> You're I know I probably shouldn't be here but oh, you must be in shock. What am I going to do? I know you were hoping that they'd go easier on him. What are you talking about? Kira. <gasps> What about him? Right. Um I spoke to my mate they work at the court and I I, I, th I think I think you should phone his no, solicitor. You tell me. You tell me. <laughs> Why would he do that? Any video of you is going to implicate him because he he got rid of the body, right? Yeah. So so that you know who kept this. And it's the man who's always trying to control oh, you. No, how did Nish get hold of it? Because the police brought back the laptop, didn't they? Yeah, but the video was deleted already. No, nothing is ever really deleted. You can get software to retrieve all sorts of data if you really want to. Oh god. Um, the laptop. Okay.
wrong. Gidith got life. What am I going to do, Eve? We need to get hold of that USB stick and destroy it because the police can never, ever, ever see that. What, what if the police do see it? Well, they'd have to let Gidith go then. You can't be serious. No, but he, he doesn't deserve to be locked up. But neither do you, and that's exactly what would happen. I've got to do this for my son, and I wouldn't expect you to understand that. No. something? No. It's just him. Are you sure? I think you broke one of the runners. Yeah. Friends again? Give it to me. I'm not going to let Kidd write in prison. I'm going to go to the police. Won't let I'm... you do this. I said no! I love you. Then let me have it. Fine. I get the police to come round here and search the place. No! It is over, Nish. Don't do this. I've made up my mind. Why are you punishing yourself? He's my son. But Kira doesn't want this. I mean, we, we, we can appeal. We, we can get his sentence reduced. A few years won't make a difference. His life will be over. What about your life? You made your decision. And I respect that. I made some char. Needs a bit longer to brew, but I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Unless you want something stronger. You wiped it. You let me walk in there knowing it was blank. You thought I'd just let you confess to murder. I told them everything. They thought I was lying just to get my son off the hook. Well, with a bit of luck, they won't keep the paperwork from the interview. I was humiliated. The pity in their eyes, you know, you had no right. I love our son. But if I had to choose between losing you and him, there's no contest. No, if we run, he won't stop until he finds us. We, um, we need to bide our time. <laughs> yeah. we've, we've been biding our time for months. <sighs> What's changed? I am. Believe that I love you. We are going to get rid of Nish for good. I promise. You 
and your father are two very different people. And that's a good thing, Vinny. You're warm and kind. And just because there is a path laid out in front of you, it doesn't mean you have to walk it. I want you to be happy. It is only when I stopped trying to be something I wasn't that I found out what happiness was. Are you all right, Mum? Nish? What are you doing home? I'm lucky to be home. Somebody... talk to the police. Who did you tell, Vinny? That... I didn't tell anyone. It was me! It was me, all right! He told me about the job and I called the police. Why? Because I don't love you. And I don't think I ever have. You stood in that kitchen and told me that you pour the wine. That you sit at the head of the table. Well, guess what? I prefer brandy. And I... I don't want to sit at your table. I spent my whole life trying to be someone I'm not supposed to. I want to speak to your mother alone. I heard what your father said. Oh. I love you more than anything in this world, Suki. And I won't stop until you feel the same. I'll go and find Vinny, I'll apologize, and then I'll come back and take care of my wife. You know, I'm struggling to adjust. And I know your mother is too, I can see that now. You know, things will get better. Because I know that your mother loves me. She's just not in love with me at the minute. And it's my job to make that happen. And so, I forgive her. And I hope you'll forgive me too. Yeah. What happened? Well, they found out about the tip off and they didn't go through with it. And I told him I didn't love him. Yeah, he's over there with Vinny at the moment. And Vinny will be fine. But we are still leaving tonight, okay? Because I would rather die than spend another second as his wife. What have you done? How could he think that? I just found her like this. Get an ambulance, go! Ambulance. Ambulance, please. Ravi, where's Nish? It's OK? Mm. Yeah, I've got you. Mum, yeah. you're going to be OK? Do you, do, do, do you remember what happened, oh, Mum? She must have fallen down the stairs. Stop fussing and get some water. And where's the ambulance? Man, if a job is worth doing. Hey, 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 hey. Call them again. I'll take over from here. Go on. It's OK. Don't move. The suitcase. Hide the suitcase. Ambulance is here! 
Mom. Mom. Robbie. Mom. She's going to be all right. What took you so long? Come on, she's in here. Yeah, I don't want you to panic, but I've just seen Suki go to hospital in an ambulance. What, 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 what's happened? I, I don't know, but Nish was with her. What's he done to her? Does he know? I don't know. Eve. What are you doing here? I just saw the ambulance. Dad. How's Mum? I don't know, man. It won't tell us anything. Vinny said she fell. Yeah, I just... Just found her. There, it was... I can't lose her. Oh, I just got him back. What happened? You must have just fallen down the stairs. But why were you rushing? No idea. I don't want black out. Hey, it's okay. It's okay, I'm here. I don't even know why I'm crying. <laughs> Mrs. Panasar, you've suffered enormous trauma. This is your body releasing that shock. It might help you to remember what happened. Surprise Nish with a weekend away. I saw fear in your eyes. Well, you know what he's like with surprises. You take care of yourself. You had a rough night. All the endless whispering. I thought you were sleeping. We were just discussing last week. I know you were discussing, Mum. No. I know she's not well. I've told you the scan was good. It's just a few broken ribs. And they'll heal in no time. She's okay, son. She's not, though, is she? She hasn't been right for weeks. She she called the police on you last week. She what? Yeah. Yeah, Rafi, it was Mum. She called the police on her husband. How is that normal behaviour? No. Doesn't make sense. The tears, the arguments. We've spoken about this. I guess even Mum has her breaking point where she just can't take it anymore. What if she did this on purpose? Mom. Try to kill herself. Have you remembered anything more? Oh, Eve. <sighs> Suki, we both know what he's capable no, of. He doesn't know anything of the affair we leave in. Can you be 100% sure? Right. So if he does know. How likely is it that he pushed you, given his history? Highly likely. Yeah. And if he doesn't know, how long till Ravi blabs? I've already told you. He thinks it's a surprise trip for Nish. Why do you think he believed that? 
Suki, you need to try and stay in here for as long as you can. You are not safe at that house. I'm a lot later. Perfect timing in my absence. <laughs> Bit of a wasted trip, though, I'm afraid. I've spoken to the doctor. Told her what a lovely support network you have. Your husband, kids, even Eve. They've agreed to discharge you. You're well enough to come home. When? Today. We can give you a lift. No, I... I insist. Okay. Hey, Mum. Thanks, but We can uh, watch a film. <sighs> I'm tired, Papa. We can just chat. I know we don't do that often. You must miss uh, Kira and Ash. You can talk to me too. Mother's supposed to be resting, Vinny. Give some space. Stop pushing me out. I just want to help her. And give her a break. What good's that? I need her to talk. Look, I know you don't want to go there, but I think that... I know what you think, and you're wrong. I mean, what is it with you, man? I spend the weekend clearing up your mess at work, finding someone else to lend us the money we need. I do not need us at home, too. Let's get to the chippy, get some food, and serve it for Nugget. He'll be back soon. If anything happens to her, I will never forgive you. Hey, I'm just checking the Suki's okay. She's fine, thank you. Do you mind giving her these? Tell her what I'm thinking about. I'll make sure she gets some. Thanks. Everything good? I didn't want to believe it, but... But Vinda kept trying to tell me. You know, when you reported me to the police, I thought that nothing could hurt more than that. But the idea that you could feel so low, so trapped in our marriage, so key that you try and hurt yourself deliberately. Vinny thought I'd. You think I threw myself down the stairs? It's okay. But maybe this is the wake-up call we both needed. Just let me look after you. Show you that I am the husband that you deserve. He didn't do it. Well, he's... He's got a history of threats and violence, so just tell the police that and let them make up their own minds. I'm not sending another innocent man to prison. I won't. You were happy enough to call the police on him last week? Yeah, for something he did. I want to nail this for something he actually did. For something he'll go down for. Something that'll let me sleep at night, okay? What does this mean for us? It means we wait for the right time. I'm sorry. <laughs> DS Miles, Walford Police Station. May we come in, please? We'd like to speak to Suki Panasa. What about? I'd rather speak to her. Has your husband ever hit you, Mrs. Panasa? <laughs> no. Who's, who's said this? Oh, I'm not at liberty to disclose, but perhaps you could come down to the station. Give us a statement. This is ridiculous. 
My wife has just come out of hospital. Well, you could come down the station, Mr. Panasar. Save your wife doing it. Fine. Let's go. Clear this up. Dadaji? Appreciate this, Mr. Panasar. What's going on? It's nothing. Don't worry. You stay with your dad, you should call your dad, all right? Look, it won't be long. It was an accident. John, put the letter. Under that, come on. How could you? I didn't, it's okay, honestly. about me, you would stop this. Am I disturbing something? No, no. I was just I was checking in on a friend. All right. I'll see you soon, OK? It was good of Eve to uh, come over and check up on a friend. And if she cared about you, she would have stopped it. I was upset. I was just taking it out on her. Well, she does care about you, doesn't she? She worked her way right into this family. Dad's legal advisor. Then there's those trips to Leeds you do. She came running to the hospital when you fell. And when Dad gets arrested, She's one of the first people on your doorstep. Was it her? Did she call the police on Dad? No, Vinny, give me back my... What have you got to hide? Just nothing. Just give it back. Well, it's, um, no calls to the police, but a few calls to Eve today. What about messages? None to Eve. No. Nope. Ever. Now that, that's suspicious. <laughs> I know, let's, let's start uh, a new one. Should we go on a little fishing trip? No, just, Vinny. What about this? Why have you done this? No, don't, don't send that. To me. I think it was Mitch who, who called them. Or maybe some other gossip on the square. Only one way to find out. No! I just want to be with you. <laughs> oh. is, is she the person you've been seeing behind Dad's back? Are you and Eve a thing? She was the one you were leaving with. I wanted to tell you. I thought that when you realised how trapped I am, how scared I am of your father, that you'd want to help me. Help you? Yeah. <laughs> I hate you. You're breaking up our family. And when Dad's released, I am telling him everything. No, no, no. Vinny, no. Come back and talk to me. The only person I'm talking to is Dad. He needs to know what he's married into. No, 
Get out. I'm going nowhere. You are on the verge of destroying her life. Good. Good. He literally killed a man with his bare hands. I mean, he ended a man's life. She wasn't even having an affair with him. You're scared he's coming for you. Is that it? <sighs> Your mum is an incredibly proud woman who loves her kids. And she might not always show it. And I know she can be a little bit suffocating. She's infuriating at times, but she does <laughs> love you to her core. You're blowing the secret. We'll wreck the chance of you ever having any sort of relationship with her in the future because Nish will not allow it. Our choice. No, Vinny, it's yours. She stood in front of the Giani and let him bless her marriage when she was having an affair with you. It's awful for everyone. But I don't want you blowing everything up because you're angry, you know? Mm. Just take a day or two to think about it. Mm. No, talk to your mum. And say so what? Just listen to her. Just try to understand, just like Kira did. If there's any part of you that still loves her, you'll hear her out before you speak to your dad. People were... Always calling me a mummy's boy. Taking the mickey out of me because what I ever wanted to do was impress you. And I hated that because they were right. I love you. I love you so much, I do. But you're just a cheat. <laughs> I've spoken to Eve. And you may think that you're in love with her. But what does real life with her look like, Mum? How does that really work? I have forgiven you for Jax. For the way that you treated Ash when she came out. For letting Kira take the blame from Vir. But if you choose Eve over us, over your family, then I won't be able to forgive you again. I will take this secret to the grave. But you have to go over there now and end things with Eve for good. It's definitely over between you, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. And why should you keep looking at you? Look, contrary to what you think, Vinny, I can't control everyone. <sighs> well, someone needs to. The only one that's happy is Nish. And Vinny. If they're happy... Did she get the message? Did she? Leave it. Mum. Move. So, I think we need to go down to Brighton with Felix. Come on. Why don't you take Emily? She's over at the arches. We need to mend that broken heart. Oh, yeah. Road trip. You know? <laughs> kind of get over one girl by getting under the next. <laughs> you like that? Are you going to lend me a car? Oh, 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 Emily isn't just a car. She makes dreams come true. Come on, go home, pack a bag and start your adventure. Do it. Do you know what? Yeah. I know a good thing when it stares me in the face. Bang all you want. This obsession with my mum needs to stop now. It's not an obsession. We were in love. 
And you can threaten me all you like. You can keep her under lock and key. But you can't change who she is on the inside. And one day, when she gets the courage, she's going to walk out of that door and be free. I'm warning you. <laughs> Do your worst. Vinny, I need you to call me back. Please, don't do anything stupid. 